Hello, um, I thought I would just record my responses. Uh, I'm on the road and I have a really busy afternoon schedule. Um, and I wanted to get this in before three. Um, so don't tell my car insurance company that I am doing this. I'm pretty sure this is illegal. But um, so I feel as if your first two or your first and third question kind of go hand in hand, which is how has FBLA helped me and what skills have I obtained through FBLA? Um, so a little bit, I remember it was my sophomore year and I was um, the, I, I did a project for uh, the chapter, uh, Partnership of the Business, and I was a sophomore and the two other gals that were on my team were juniors. And I remember just thinking, oh my gosh, these girls are so smart and they, um, they're in the top of their class, they're in my accounting class, they get 110% like on everything. I'm not very smart. Um, and I just was so nervous to let them down. And I mean, that's still a fear today, is letting people down. Um, but I remember we were getting ready to, we were practicing our presentation and I was stuttering like no other. And um, my FBLA advisor at the time, she said, Tori, you know more about this project than the judges do. And, um, sorry, I'm passing a car. And um, that just really kind of stuck with me, you know? I, I do know more about this project than the judges. And um, so I'm just, I need to go in with confidence. It taught me how to have confidence. And so I still use that today whenever I am, um, whenever I am presenting or whenever I'm doing a chamber coffee or anything in general, I know more than the, uh, than the people who are there. You know, they're there to listen and to learn. And um, I also learned to, um, I also learned to give the information that I do know. And if I don't know, it's okay. Um, and that, that was kind of hard for me to understand. So, um, you know, it's FBLA really has helped with my presenting skills and it's helped with my public speaking. I'm not where I want to be with public speaking. I have so much room for improvement, but it's, I mean, I can't even imagine where I'd be if I was not a member of FBLA and had to present, um, to, and do all my projects I've done. I don't think that FBLA's taught me and I've learned through it um, would be how to look for opportunities and take risks. Um, you know, I, I took a risk. I found the opportunity to run for state office when I was, uh, I ran for state president and was successful for two years uh, uh, in PBL. And then I ran for national mountain plains region vice president and won that as well. And I found the opportunity. I took the risk that the risk was, do I run? Do I not run? And then I, once I committed, then it was, okay, I have to have a, a business plan and how am I going to execute this? How am I going to win and then follow it? And so, you know, um, it's been, it's, I think, I mean, I took a risk and I ran for national, or I sorry, I took a risk and I ran for state representative for the 112th district and I won and, and I've learned, I learn every single day with everything that I do. So, um, and I, I have to say, I have to thank FBLA for teaching me to do that. Um, so anyways, kind of, like I said, I think it's taught me public speaking um, it's taught me, um, you know, this, the typical business things I've always been interested in business, um, customer service and stuff like that. Um, how to create a business plan, how to, I mean, I was kind of a perfectionist to begin with, but it taught me how to, um, how to, you know, create and actually put together the executive summary and the business plan and, and to put more detail and look through it. And I still have a question on this. Okay. I need to add, I need to add, I need to take away. This is, this is redundant. Um, this is unnecessary. I can answer this through the question answer period. And maybe this doesn't need to be in the project or in the portfolio. So it's taught me that. And then your second question was, um, how has, uh, or what would I tell current members or people who want our members that are interested in joining or people who are interested in joining, I feel like, 
Um, I tell them that FBLA is an organization for everybody and it's lifelong. So, uh, I mean, just because you're not in high school, then you have the collegiate level, which is PBL. And if you are even after college or if you don't want to go to college, um, which is completely okay, um, you can join uh, the professional division. And um, so, yeah, it's lifelong. And FBLA, PBL, is a family to me. Uh, when I was a national officer, I, the national officer team, there's nine of us. Uh, like, for instance, one of the gals, she was a national parliamentarian. I'm in her wedding in August. So, I mean, I've found best friends. The other one, another one, he, uh, actually, I have three of the other ones from the team, or from my officer team. They helped me with my campaign. Um, I guess four total, but I already talked about Jenna. But, so four of them from the national office team, they work, they're helping me with my campaign and they're helping me craft a message. And, and, um, two of them, uh, I'd say maybe three of them, um, of the four are from the opposite. They have different beliefs than I do. They're from the opposite party, which is good because I've learned to, uh, you know, when I have an argument, I need to, to be able to debate both sides. So that's helped me out. Um, so anyways, like I said, this is a lifelong, uh, this is a lifelong uh, organization. Uh, it's a family. Um, it's even if you're not interested, even if you're not interested in business, there are other opportunities uh, throughout this organization. I think just for instance, the the craft fair at the high school that that Great Ben puts on. I mean, you learn so much. You learn customer service skills. You learn how to put together and how to organize a project or an event that big and how to accommodate to all different needs and, um, you know, how to make a profit. So anyways, I hope that answered your question. Uh, shoot me a text. If not, I can send you some more information, but like I said, I just wanted to send a video versus type everything out and feel free to give me a call if you need, if you want me to build on a little bit more. So, uh, let me know what else you need and good luck with your project. Thank you.